go in deep into that please watch my other tutorials for the future but anyways so we're done right now let's go ahead file and save we're gonna save it and um, I'm just about to show you how to um, yeah about to show you how to uh, fix the building position let's say in some places we don't like how building look like like on the left and on the right on those two corners left and right corner they always will be like uh, they're not gonna be straight even if your middle is straight and I'm gonna show you how to fix that you already s uh, just seeing that at 100% right now I'm 130 megapixel and if I like this shot if I want to print this shot um, imagine 12 megapixels against 130 megapixels my printing quality will be amazing but I'm probably gonna stick it at 130 megapixels I probably gonna lower down by 60 but by lowering down sizing down by 60 it's gonna make smaller pixels and at the hundred percent they're gonna look purely beautiful about excellent so as you can see now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fix um, I'm gonna zoom in and uh, this is hundred percent this is 67 and this is going to be our 50 percent which you can see that 50 percent as I'm gonna save this image it's pure quality it's going to be sharp and it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be about 60 megapixels so huge size to print you can see how clear it is so this is the two times clearer than the regular 12 megapixels shot so I'm gonna fix this building um, and then on the left corner I'm gonna fix this one because it's falling in as well so I'm gonna zoom out by a little bit like fit to screen let's say and then what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna go make it first make a copy of this layer And I'm gonna name it Sky Fixed um, and then I'm gonna say um, Position Fix Left to Right position fixed like that you can you know keep it as the way you want it but make sure it's every it can be understandable by anybody and um, it's good habit to keep it that way and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit like not too much like that and I'm gonna go edit as again edit and uh, transform there is a short case for this but as again I'm not gonna discuss the advanced methods over here or short keys I'm gonna this video tutorial will be based for anybody and um, out there so everybody will follow this and perfectly understand so sorry for those advanced users I'm apologizing but guys you know sometimes we gotta learn too so I'm gonna select edit then I'm gonna go again edit transform and select the skew select the skew right here left mouse button and now I can skew and I can adjust it like a little bit by so so it's kinda nice and neat I'm gonna click commit transform button and it's gonna add these changes uh, but also you can you can uh, select the arrow tool go to your um, ruler somewhere click your left mouse button and scroll hold by holding it you can bring this thing and you can see if it's straight or not and keep it on your image those two lines they're not gonna be printable or visible on your 
JPEG. So it's fine. It's just going to be visible only in Photoshop. Now I gotta fix this building just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go edit again, transform, skew, and uh, skewing by cell. Like so. Okay, I'm gonna click this button apply. Why we create a new layer? Just because this layer is going to be untouched. And if we want to go ahead and make any changes, what we're gonna do, we're just going to delete this layer by praying delete button. And uh, it's gonna ask us delete it. We're gonna say yes. I'm gonna click just no and it's gonna delete this layer and we can come back to this layer again make a copy of this layer and start working on some other changes if we didn't like the changes because the changes that I already made they're not it's kinda hard to bring them back and if you're gonna use the skew tool a lot all that you gotta do you gotta stretch your pixels very badly so I'm not suggesting you using it like a lot a lot of times. I'm suggesting you use it one or two times on different uh, uh, different portion of the image okay so it's not gonna bring you that bad pixels effect. As you can see I'm straight in here, straight in here I can zoom in I'm a straight and uh, over here kinda straight too that building was a little bit like under like that well this is acceptable or I can a little bit make it a little bit straighter but I think it's acceptable for me okay so um, yeah you just learned how to adjust the sides corners because they always going to be crooked a little bit and they uh, the corners will fall down Th that's just because when you're taking the panoramic camera uh, processor uh, image processor in Photoshop not the camera but in Photoshop thinking that this is the sphere that's how the logic works and it applies to that sphere every single photo and then it's correcting up to that sphere and you just learn how to correct this so here we go and we can save it and we're good to go we're gonna save this JPEG right now. We're just saving it as a PSD format, which is Photoshop. So we can open at any time and we can work with this image. We can make any changes. But we also can save it as the JPEG. And JPEG is good for the printing or to send it to somebody. But always make sure to keep your original PSD file, which is Photoshop file that we're saving right now. Always keeping this because you know you don't know whatever you want to make some changes you can do this you know keep both okay and um, I'm about to save it as again this video will be sp split into multiple parts so please watch all the parts um, search them on YouTube for that parts or Google they're gonna come up as well I'm gonna put in the video description for you for the convenience so to complete this tutorial you need to watch all the parts and as again my name is Alexander Morose and thank you so much for uh, being with me so far and as again uh, this video tutorial is recorded with Maros Video Capture, the software that was developed by me to capture your desktop screen for your own tutorials or even to capture your gameplay where you're playing on the same computer so you can share with the friends. And uh, you can you know, go ahead and uh, search Google for Maros Video Capture to get the trial version of that or to purchase it. Okay? As you can see, and that purchase will greatly appreciable uh, for, uh, and it's going to be uh, supportful for the next projects and tutorials and videos and 
other softwares. So you can see um, I'm having image which is image image size which is 100 and uh, uh, let me calculate it 17,459 times 4,455 which is 77 megapixels right now which is you know about five times greater than 12 megapixel camera and it's so clear look at this this is 33 percent so sharp and clear this is 67 and this is 100 but at 100 percent this 70 megapixels look like this image will look at 100 percent and 12 megapixels and what we're gonna do right now we're just going to size it down and as you can see 100% right now look like this we're gonna go to image image size and we're gonna say over here size it down by 66% all what I did I just switch it to percent and type 66 and in a second you will be able to see how the quality of our image um, will go um, sharper and better just because we size it down we make our pixels sharper uh, like mm, smaller so they look sharper and this noise around as you can see there is a little bit of the noise uh, it's going to go smaller as well so our eye not gonna you know um, capture the, the too much noise it's not gonna be so destructive to our eye because it's going to be smaller which is gonna bring about like 50 megapixel well, we'll see like 55 which is still plenty of megapixel you can print this image on the whole wall and it's going to be at a beautiful resolution and beautiful quality and all it was done with Nikon D90 which is 12 megapixel amazing without purchasing those expensive cameras so you just saved you save money if you were looking to buy that uh, 20 megapixel camera you just saved yourself money and you can invest those money if you're an amateur photographer you can invest this money into better lens and receive better quality than the just expensive body okay let me go ahead and show you you can see the quality is impressive look at that quality it's impressive let me just backward and forward so at the hundred percent look 67 this is the hundred percent it's impressive quality at hundred percent it's sharper and um, 